hello 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 dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla so libra we have this energy of being in love with life and manifestation um there's certain i feel like libra's your your energy is like split in half um some of you <clears throat> that are in love with life and are manifesting like crazy are in this energy of just like there was something that you were able to see clearly. There was something that you were able to um, like overcome or you're in this energy of gratefulness, this energy of feeling blessed, feeling like everything is going your way. Uh, and a lot of you Libras that has to do with your faith and with honestly just cutting off anything that like any BS or anybody that brings BS to your life is what I'm picking up. For the other half of you Libras that are still having a challenge, let's put it this way, or having a difficult time, and maybe you feel like, you know, like you give one step forward and you're like three step back type of energy, then there's something here that you have to look at your daily life, the daily things that you do in life. You have to shift your perception and look at them from a different place um some of you are either upset over you know having to go to work every single day um maybe you're fed up with your job maybe you're fed up with your per with your partner you're fed up with you know the the daily routine has become a boredom now with that being said, Libra, for those of you that are, that are in that energy of wanting to break free and you're just literally fed up with like the day-to-day -day life, you are supposed to be looking at it like it's it's almost like hold on. It's almost like this. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out like how to put it into words. Right there. Like, I need to see it. Um, th there's this energy of, like, needing to realize that the discipline and the structure that you need for what it is that you feel is your calling, for what it is that you feel that your life is headed, is going to be learned through the daily things that you do at the moment so nothing that you're doing at the moment whether it's working whether it's you know doing the dishes whether it's taking care of your kids whether it's taking care of your household whether is you know paying your bills um learning to communicate with somebody that's difficult etc it, it 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 all has a purpose right and it's hard to to look at it that way when you're in the midst of it. But there's definitely here a perception that needs to change. There, There's something that is off, whether, like, I feel like, you know, when we talk about, like, your mind, your body, and your spirit, it's like your mind in itself is off, and it's almost disconnected with what your spirit and what your body is pushing you to do. And because you are either learning new things or you're getting more messages or your your intuition is pulling you in a certain direction when it comes to your spirit and when it comes to your mind, that your is it when it comes to your body and your spirit excuse me and it's like your mind is dis is disconnected or it's not making the connection of what these daily routines or these daily things are there to teach you i hope that makes sense because it is the way that it's coming up there is uh here a need to be grateful right for everything be grateful for waking up in the morning be grateful that you let's say if you are home that you are home that if you have a job that you have a job it's, it's almost like the little things in life that you need to learn to be grateful in and it's like the minute that you shift that is is the minute that you learn to really be in love with life and really start to see things manifesting without having to to work so hard for them. For some of you, again, there is definitely a love connection here that some of you are either questioning um, whether you should be in this connection or not. Some of you are definitely fed up with the person that you're with. Um, and this is, again, for those that are struggling. 
for those that are in that space of in love with life, I feel that there are there's just new coming in. There's new energy, new creative, um, abundant energy for some of you. This may be um, adding a an addition to your family, like you know, having another child or having a first child, something like that, where you're adding to it. Um, if you're not pregnant or your spouse is not pregnant, it's almost like you guys are adding in some way, whether it is property or something like that. There is a gain here for those of you that are in manifestation, um, and that are in love with life. It's it's almost like everything that you desire and everything that you want comes in. So let's go ahead and let's get some cards for those that are in love with life. Um, even though everything seems to be going good for you, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Last Judgment, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So again, there's definitely this energy for those of you. You have overcome this um, is what I'm picking up. Um, I feel that whatever interference was in your way has been cleared or this is the learning to look at the interference, learning to look at the things that may have kept you stuck, looking at them from a different angle, right? Um, looking at this mind imprisonment as what it truly is. And because you were able to face that, right, that is why things are going the way that you want them to. That is why you're able to manifest. That is why you feel feel so in love with life now let's go ahead and let's look at the other group the group that we were mainly talking to libra the group that is having a hard time with their day-to-day -day. what is going on with their energy okay so we have the lovers but then we have the ace of cups and then we have the three of cups in the reverse so it's it's almost like some of you are in this energy where maybe the connection that you're in, um, this person maybe doesn't support you enough. Maybe there's a lot of arguments, a lot of petty fights or anything like that, because it's almost like this connection in itself, it's affecting everything else, right? Because of the lack of love, because of the lack of connection that you feel with the person that you're with, it, it's almost like stopping you from, from moving forward. Um, is stopping you from being grateful because your your main focus or your main energy is being is being impacted by that connection itself. Again, we have the lovers again with the high priestess and the ace of cups. Um, for some of you, you're being advised to really ask yourself if this is a connection that you want to be in. Um, there are things that this connection is supposed to teach you or was supposed to teach you, but it's almost like a lot of you are trying to force and stay in something that has run its course. For some of you, if if you've tried everything that you possibly could to compromise and to find a middle ground with this person, then you know what your answer is. Your answer is to walk away. Your answer is to move forward. <clears throat> we have the hangman in the reverse with the seven of pentacles and the prince of cups. So again, a lot of you are... It's like you know or you're aware that things have to change within this connection or that the connection has to come to an end. But a lot of you are afraid that either you're not going to find anyone or that you are making a mistake by walking away. But the truth is that a lot of you are just not happy with the person that you're currently with. So now I would like you to go ahead and set your intention. Um, think of a question that you would like to ask and we'll get an answer for you. And your answer is no, Libra. So whatever it is that you're asking, your answer is no at the moment. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this month. As always, guys, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel as well as donating. If you would like a private reading, the link to my website is down below in the description along with the links to Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. If you would like to follow me on those platforms, sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Guys, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.